So have you ever wanted to design something and like, you know, you're not good at it. So you like don't design it, but then at the same time you want to design it. So I've actually been really enjoying Formula One. For some reason, I just wanted to get into it like a new sport and it's been really cool. And I've been seeing these really cool Pinterest posts. And I'm just like, I want to give it a shot. I'm not good at emulation, but I know in my heart, I want to try. And given since the last time I did this with the LeBron post, you guys enjoyed it. So I'm going to walk through it again and just, just have some fun creating. And just before we start, today's video is actually sponsored by Autonomous. Now, if you don't know what that is, for the record, watch this. Wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it's a standing desk. As a designer, I sit on my butt eight to 10 hours a day, and I just, I honestly don't enjoy it. I don't like the idea. I don't like the feeling. I don't like how my like, legs feel. I also don't enjoy the idea of, like blood clots. I don't, it just scares me. The overall build quality of this thing is also really, really dope. All I gotta do is just press a simple button and it goes up or down depending on the either presets that I have. Like I can even set five presets so someone else can also sit at my desk if they want to. It's also like a really cool little party trick. And for the record, it even have a little cable management for the overall cables of the desk itself so I can hide it so it doesn't look too ugly, which is also great. And just for a little quick comparison, over here, this is actually a 32 inch monitor on this desk. And of course, I also have my PC on this. It can definitely fit a second monitor. I've been enjoying the overall productivity of this, but I can definitely take a little arm. And it's just, it's a very, it's a very sturdy desk. So if you guys are interested, I want to find some more information, please sure to check the link in the description down below, but also check out their YouTube channel where you actually get a lot more cooler reviews from creators who probably do more productivity and like cool cameras and stuff. I just, I had a phone and some cute angles, but let's just go ahead and hop in the video. So let's jump into this. Now I do have my four like mood board inspiration board. So the first image here, I actually really enjoyed the like floating, like it felt like there's a lot of foreground background, just a lot of objects moving about. And of course the second photo, I really just enjoyed the composition. It just felt really just nice in my opinion. Third one, I kind of just enjoyed the typography layout as kind of like the, the, the simplicity of it. And the last one, I actually really enjoyed the smoke. So my theory for this is I want to create a poster for the Formula One event in Vegas. So I wanna do a combination of this like stuff, but I wanna do it like Vegas scenery, maybe like some dice, some cards. You can tell I don't have an idea because I really don't. There's no other way for me to do this, but decide to just do it. So I'm gonna start walking myself through it and we'll figure it out. I do of course have some assets ready to go, like the car itself pen tooled out because I don't wanna waste your time. And uh, you know, the, the road kind of, kind of, uh, picked out as well. I'm, I'm nervous. Can you tell? So I am using Alexander Hamilton. Also, dude, some of these roads that people are using, this is a really good one, but this right here is so sick. I couldn't find anything close to this after like two hours of searching and it's really unfortunate. But what I do have is this guy right here. So if I just take this, put this below here, make this a little bit bigger. I thought that this was a good enough like scaling and it felt pretty realistic or, you know, however realistic we gotta go here. But one thing I definitely wanna do though is take this out real quick. I just feel as if like a nice clean background here would make more sense in that transition. Just might feel a little more natural, right? I feel comfortable with this. Now, the background. Yeah. One thing I see for certain is like the atmosphere back or not the atmosphere, the sky in the background. They have like these all like this consistent sky feature. I want to make sure I stay in the realm of the culture of the Formula One posters. I don't know what sky I'm going to use. I, don't, I got a few, but I'm just going to start putting some in. We're probably going to change this thing out like 40 times throughout this video. But for now, oh, this feature, by the way, when you like hover over the best feature Photoshop, yo, my life, I love it. You guys see it when I move the layer? Eh? So there's just a, a big part of me that's just really wondering what should I do and how do I do it? That's just the, the biggest question I think a lot of us get into. So the biggest thing I can tell you guys if you're in the same situation as me is you just got to keep looking and keep understanding on what the creative or the idea was or maybe like even try to think about what is the easiest thing to do when you see somebody else's inspiration and then you can take that and try to do it yourself and then you can start adding your spices to it to make it your own. So. Realistically, my first thought about this is I could use some of these assets that I actually have over here. Like I have this ball, this like, you know, obvious replica of like the, the, the pyramid. What, why did I say pyramid? What I'm gonna say is I have that, I have this like welcome sign to Vegas, which I feel like this is so iconically, it makes sense to wanna use this, right? But then the part is, is do I wanna pen tool everything? I really don't but I have to. I feel like what I need to do is I just need to like play with the sky, play with placement and just like get something concrete enough for me to actually, cause right now it's basically purely exploratory. So let's just quickly see 
what I can get with whatever amount of time I need. Okay, so I didn't actually speed art too much or, or I didn't really do much in this section. I just needed to figure out a composition that I was okay with. So what my thought process here is, is I kind of have what we see here, right? I got a few objects of Vegas, sort of like just iconic things that are so Vegas that we can definitely light up, make it really bright and just kind of fun. It's almost gonna be like a night setting. Then I'm thinking maybe we can do like, you know, casino chips kind of flying about in the foreground. And then of course, gotta work with the shadows in our overall road and just kind of see, and then hopefully typography just works in our favor. Let's just see what we get from here. Cause realistically, this is the point where you have to trust the process. Process. I should probably start working at least a little bit on the road, the color correction, and kind of getting things uh, making sense. So fortunately, the road is just gonna get a lot of texture, probably a lot of clarity, a little bit of de noise, of course, to sharpen the noise reduction and make that thing just pop. I want this to be a nice, standout-ish road, pretty much like that. Maybe not like so much, but definitely lower it a little bit. Maybe even take the blues out of the road because I'm not really sure if I need all that blue popping out like that. For the shadow of the car, I'm not really sure how people usually do this. They could probably like take the duplicate, go like this, flip this horizontal or not vertical, right? And then maybe like shrink it down really, really far. Wait, that's the wrong side though. All right, there's no way people do it this way. There's no, no shot. Yeah, I'm gonna go on a limb and say they don't actually do that. So what they probably do is just take a nice little simple pull plex, whatever the heck it's called brush over here. Take this right here for now. And we're just gonna take a nice black, right? We're gonna use around like 60% opacity and just click a few times under here to ground this object just so that we have something to work with here. Now, of course it should be the darkest right at the edge. So I'm gonna take this, right? This still, it's on 60, uh, 65. Get really close to the edge here and just make sure this is super, super dark because that'll really make sure the uh, the object feels grounded, right? Get really close, make sure it's really, really dark. And of course, not right here, because then that's that's too high up. So we're gonna kind of go like that. That works for me. Now I'll go ahead and make another new layer over this and just take the entire brush, click now, just like this, right? And just really ground this image. And now it feels a little bit grounded, but the black's still here, it feels a little bit too much. So I'm gonna kind of take this, lower it down a little bit with like a nice little brush, just kind of go in a few times again and kind of just work it around the edges. And really, honestly, I think that's pretty good. Let's also add the color correction on the actual car. And let's just see what happens if I add some of the kind of color corrections to like the sign, just to see if it makes sense. Everything now has a color correction. It kind of all feels grounded and I'm enjoying it. So realistically, before I do any of like the, the, the lights, Right, I don't wanna do anything until I put pretty much everything that I want on the canvas and I still want to explode random chips or dice or something to really get that Vegas feel. Uh, and then maybe even add some smoke to the car and stuff and the atmosphere, make it more smoky. There's a lot I wanna do, so we, we have a lot to do, unfortunately, so. <laughs> Let's start with actually getting in those poker chips though. Okay, so I got all these different chips and I wanna kinda see if I place these around, is this gonna work out for me? Ooh. Why is like a really big chip like feel good? I wanna ask myself why that made me go, ooh. Does the space need to be filled because this edge is hitting the sign over here? Is it, do I enjoy the, the, the idea of the larger than life? Like I ask myself that because it's really important when you, when you feel some type of way, you wanna make sure you understand why you feel that way. I think for now, we're gonna kind of make it a little more smaller. I enjoy the space in between here. It feels nice, but also now, Kind of hate it. No, I think I need it because I want to make sure I don't get too muddy with the overall objects. So maybe even smaller now. Let's just get that one really small in the back. And we're just going to keep flirting with them and see if it works. We're here now. So I think right now at this point, we can no longer ignore that we need to actually bring life to this poster. And the way I'm thinking about doing that is I want to take some of these objects here, pretty much add like a, uh, what is it called? Exposure. Let's clip mask it really quick. We're gonna lower the exposure down quite a lot, right? Just so it's, it's visible enough. And then we're gonna go back into the exposures clip mask, go into the portions or parts where the signs that I personally chose out, right? We go over here and just make all these letters highlight because we're gonna make them basically all glow and then hopefully just try to like play with the lights that these would be protruding and hopefully we get a concept going that we enjoy. I'm also so committed to this, right? I'm gonna make every single one of these, it does this in real life, I just saw it. Every single one of these little edges are also gonna glow, 
So please leave a like for my misery because I'm I'm going to do this and it's going to take me a little bit. I'm not going to add the glows yet. We're just going to go to this second object behind here. Do the same exact thing. OK, now that that's done, I'm also curious if I want to add maybe even like an exposure to the actual car itself. So I take the tires, right, like the yellow, of the tires, and maybe just add a theme of uh, Las Vegas to it. And then later on, also making that glow. So let's go ahead and just add some glow and to see if this theory is even going to work in the first place. I built my entire theory on this sign. So if it doesn't work, I hate myself. I'm going to come over really quick and go over it with like an obvious big brush, right? Make sure I follow this pretty closely. So with light, you kind of emit light like this, where I'll take this first one, it'll emit the light. And then with the emission of light, is that a word? We're gonna make it a word. With the emission of light, I'm gonna now click now, just like so. So we get two different kind of glows and where it's coming from. And I feel like that would feel a little bit better. Let me also do the same thing for the rest of the overall sign. Oh, oh, the star looks nice. I'm not even done yet either, hold on. Let's also add the same kind of light to this Paris one too now. Now I can't ignore the fact that these like chips it's just not given the light that I would want to, but also this it's actually putting all this together is is a lot harder than it might seem. Like, I feel like I'm on a good track. I have a good idea. But right now, this is where the execution portion comes in, where if I mess up, it just it's just going to look bad. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to add this light here for now. I feel like it looks good like this, but I think when I put this a bigger light source, it gives me a reason or like an idea to actually go back into this and maybe you start adding a light like leak to the edge of the uh, helmet to at least bring things together somehow. So, I mean, I added a little bit, but if I'm being honest, it's definitely not what I hoped. This is a challenge, right? This is definitely a challenge for me, but I'm going to kind of work. I'm going to try to work this out so that you guys are also noticing that this is not just a you thing when it comes to designing. It's, it's just difficult, but maybe I don't need a light source that's actually coming from an object. Maybe I can use a light source that's coming from the back of wherever who says i can't just add in like an orange mist right it's more or less i mean it's like the atmosphere of vegas glows always make things look better it's the cheat code as long as you know how to use a brush your life is good as a designer this doesn't work out if it sits here because it just feels super odd like and i i can't make it smaller i really do like the size of where it was but how do I make it work? Do I have to add like glows to the the the, the chip itself? Because it just feels like too hidden, too mistaken, forgotten about, right? I don't want to put an asset in and make it feel as if it was forgotten about. So I'm going to take this really quick. Wherever the light is hitting, I'm going to take this, this portion of it and kind of give myself this highlight to maybe bring some life into this chip. Now I'm wondering just because I'm curious, right? Like what happens if I just take the inner portion of this and just delete this? What happens? What I was hoping, actually. So I'm gonna fill it in really quick, taking this away, right? It feels, it just feels too placed in and not like really, theoretically it would make sense, but if I take it out for a second, it kind of brings a little bit more dimension and like shape to it, and I like it. So I'm gonna keep that. And maybe since I gave it so much attention, I'll take this for a second, make a new layer, take this, make this red, whatever the tone is right here, go into the edge here with a nice harder brush, like a 10% brush, put on linear dodge add, and maybe that gives it a little more dimension as well, right? It kind of feels like it would make some sense, something like this, right? Look at that. So that one looks good. This one up here though, feels a little bit like shoddy. It just feels like it, it doesn't belong. So I'm gonna have to add maybe not a white glow like I did in the bottom one, but maybe a orange colors are very hard okay that looks pretty decent too and then long behold of course you got one over here this light here is honestly emitting pretty well so maybe instead of just using just like a, a normal orangey tone like from the bottom of the light hit i'll use a nice vibrant more yellow because realistically it should be hitting yellow on this there's like a little bit of realism in my thought process like i know it doesn't make sense theoretically like hypothetically though, why not? If as long as you, it looks good, no one's gonna really care. So let's just make sure it looks decent. Just before I forget to, let me also add the glow on this wheel here. Whether or not we keep it, I just wanna make sure I at least bring in some of the theme of the glow over there to down here as well. It feels all right. We can kind of lower it a little bit. It doesn't need to be like too crazy, but just enough to make it sure like to think like, oh, it's glowing. That's all I need. My first initial thought when like wanting to deal with the bottom of this is I'm, I know I'm going to add like a little highlights. So it'll, it'll make it look somewhat OK, but I wanted to do like some kind of like, you know, those like lights that like sw like swoop behind 
that could be kind of sick because it would be kind of sick to do something like that you know you, you kind of go over it one more time with like another nice color you put it on linear dodge add and that's all it's kind of like scoot, you know phew, phew, like you know making it look cool, cool like we can make it look better than this but is that what it is is that the key so this is like my car light exposure mood board i feel like it's it makes sense i just need something to bring like the road could even glow like right around the edges here at, ooh. all right you know what i feel you know what i feel like doing That's not gonna get old. I feel like standing up and making this official because also it's been an hour and I need to like stretch. I'm gonna add like a bar of light to the edge of the road. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna literally, I was gonna freehand it, but I'm actually gonna use this pen tool. We need a pretty hard brush here, probably like 80%, make it pretty big. So maybe like 10, 11 diameters is pretty decent. Go over here, right click stroke path, use the tool brush, press okay go like this we'll make a new layer and i'll do the same exact thing again but this time with a bigger brush and a way 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 less hardness we'll do the same same thing stroke path brush take this i'm gonna lower the opacity of this one or lightness of this one and then i'll use a nice little linear dodge add and then just like that we get ourselves a nice little glow is it a cool glow maybe but does it help us kind of maybe for cohesion sake we add it to this line here so instead of this line being here we make this line the same sort of orange tone as its counterpart on the other side so maybe it feels like the road is lit up it makes a little bit of sense does this little corner bug anyone or just me do i enjoy the play of the corner looking like that or do i like it more flat out like this I think I enjoy the play of the corner. So I need to start adding and seeing what happens if we add these lights to the car. So I definitely don't have to be perfect here. I'm just gonna add a few things like this, maybe even add like some green ones. And then lastly, maybe some blue ones. Oh, even the red low key, maybe it's overboard, but maybe not. Okay, let me quickly see what happens if I blur, gauge and blur it pretty big. Add the linear dodge, add for the glows. Oh, what? The, what is this that's not how i thought this is gonna be oh wait this maybe it was the wrong direction what if i do this change the direction to zero maybe a little bit like down okay now duplicate maybe now i use a gaussian blur i think this works i think this spectrum of color is a no-go and i also think the thickness does not work i enjoy the idea but it needs to flow from point a of the screen over here all the way to point B. I'm gonna kind of only stick with like yellows from now for this first part. And then maybe I'll switch to like a green, give it a little bit of green from one side to another side, maybe change the thickness on just some of them. That feels pretty decent, but there's still just something, like a lot of something missing. Let's add the text in actually. Wait, did I, <laughs> did I say Alexander Hamilton or Lewis Hamilton? So I am using Alexander Hamilton. Also, no way, I didn't say that. No, no, no. no. With a little bit of typography, I, I'm able to at least play with some of this space down here and not have to, you know, break my brain on what there is to do. So I can go like this and I want to get this as close to this background color as possible without completely ruining it. I'm also going to go ahead and add in the Formula One logo. And I just want to say this logo is so sexy in every right. I'm gonna make sure I add a little bit of type texture over here too. I can see that it's not gonna work given the actual brightness of this so i might just lower this out a little bit like so that to me might make a little more sense now i'm curious though can i do the same thing down here if i want to make sure i match it somehow some way i can't but I, I might be able to like you know sort of match it or like in relation it makes sense and it kind of makes it feel as if it was purposeful like that because i don't want to regurgitate the same information over and over again but i do like my type texture now i had a thought and i just want to see if it was a dumb thought, there's a world where I can take a playing card since he's like, is he, I, I, I'm a new Formula One fan, but some people call him the goat from the stuff that I've been watching and the people that I've been adhering to for advice of how to watch this sport. What if I placed a king, right? Because I feel like king, goat kind of go hand to hand. Oh my God, I have not saved yet. Who does that? Part of me wants to do something like this. You know, to add some sort of texture. The thing is that kind of gets me is the perspective though. Like the perspective of where the car is going and how it's going. And then the card itself, I just feel like it doesn't work, but I can't ignore that I want to keep it. You know what? I'm going to make the executive decision here and say, I'm going to keep it. And then I'll deal with the comments later that tell me how I could have made it better. Cause like, that's the whole point, right? 
it, you know, to get better at this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna finalize this stuff by just adding a little bit of glow to all these little random pieces and bits of the car to make it kind of feel more glowy and in theme of our Vegas idea. I'll also go ahead and never end by also going into a camera raw filter. I'm not gonna go really too crazy, just doing like your basic normal like, you know, contrasts and, and you know, just the normal stuff. I might even change a little bit of the hue, actually. I'm also gonna add a little bit of, uh, let's say, what are we gonna call this? We're just gonna call it like, it's almost like a vignette in a way. I just wanna darken some of these areas a little bit. And I also think for the culture, I'm gonna really quickly kind of reset this, use a little bit of iris blur here and give this a bit of like a nice kind of focus in the corner over here, just a little bit to give it more depth, like a fake way to kind of cheat the depth. Am I done? I really should be. Let, let me just make sure with like a, a real quick little final color correction. Okay, I'm done. You know, I'm I'm finally done. I'm gonna call it there and we're just, hopefully it's cool. Hopefully you learned something. Cause realistically, all this is just brush hits, a little bit of color correction and just some decent placement and some type texture. Like I'm definitely okay with it. The helmet is throwing me off. If the helmet was any other color, I think this would come off a lot more better and I can kind of color balance this more. But for the record, I, it's just, it's just a lot of color, but hopefully it was somewhat cool. With that being said, that's the end of the video here today. So of course, once again, thank you so much to Autonomous for the standing desk. I, I needed it. I definitely needed it just now. So it was helpful. Don't forget to check them out as always in the description down below, but also don't forget to check out the everything pack where you just find some really cool dope assets to use for the rest of your lives. So with that, set the HQ out. So you're gonna keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive. Later, much love, peace and yeah. I, I could go for this for like another like a week, but I don't got that time. It, it, it.